If we were to magnify this membrane several times and look at the outside of the crista, which is the matrix of the mitochondrion, the membrane itself and the space within the membrane, then it would be possible to see the structures involved in the process of chemiosmosis as the electrons from the hydrogens accepted by NAD become passed through a series of acceptors each one having a stronger affinity or attraction for electrons. As these electrons flow from one acceptor to the next, sufficient energy is released to allow for the hydrogen ions here in the matrix to be moved or pumped against a concentration gradient and to build up a high concentration in this tiny area between the membranes. There are several such infoldings which increase the surface area and the fact that the pockets are very small means that the ion concentration becomes high at a faster rate. Once this concentration is high enough, then the hydrogen ions move through a special transmembrane channel which comprises the enzyme ATP synthase. And as the ions flow from the high concentration that was built inside of the crista, out into the matrix, ATP is produced from ADP and inorganic phosphate with the use of the energy of the moving hydrogen ions. Chemiosmosis, a very similar if not identical process, happens across the thylakoid membranes of chloroplasts.